why education? Uh, for me, it's because education um, has a chance to transform people's lives. Education is not just school, it's, it's life. It's empowering and it's equipping. It gives opportunities and choice. It's a passport to your future. Ed education means that mistakes that have been made in the past don't have to keep being made. I think that education begins with questions. I think education is about building your imagination. I think everyone has a spark, something that they were made and created to do. It's, it's a way out of the poverty trap. I think education moulds and shapes you. Education is a, is a, is a hope to fulfil dreams. It helps you get on to the next thing and the next thing. Education is the most powerful instrument in the world. There's a big issue with um, white British uh, boys in seaside town. We are seeing it more and more how families are just breaking down, parents are splitting up. So our challenge is how do we create listening culture? How good are we at listening? How good are young people at listening? You can't learn unless you're listening. You've got to be able to listen with your eyes and with your ears, with your nose, and of course, and with your mind and with your heart. The biggest challenge that we actually find is helping young people to have an identity, so actually finding who they are. It's looking at the data which can be pretty dry and boring and really difficult to understand um, as a lay person. They think they're failures and that frame, their whole schooling, frames their expectations for the rest of their life. We looked at what can we do helping out, so there's a conversation about volunteering as a mentor. To be encouraged and to be told that you're doing a great job is, is literally the best thing ever. We're in a prime position to be able to build relationships with not just the children but with the families. Identity and self-esteem for young people and that comes all the way around to mentoring. If it's a science, technology, engineering or maths then you can, with a bit of West Sussex help, be invited into Amory School at the moment and soon to be TLA. But maybe people that are happy to come into schools to, to help out with sewing, to help out with um, reading with children which is a big one. So what experiences through the networks we have can we offer those young people. Go and talk to your head teacher of your local school or a school you might want to be involved with. Have a chat with them. It's great to have other sort of older role models that can come in and, and read with them and spend time with them. But they're only going because they're disadvantaged. So it's about that, how do we find better terminology? How can we support that family as a whole, not just, not just the young person? Um, and provide services that are both fun and engaging but also going to be really relevant and give them learning opportunities as well. How can we mentor young people, especially in, when the, as they look to join that world of work? Bring your skills as a volunteer into the classrooms and the after school clubs that are there and be a mentor, be a, another person who cares. How we can encourage children to be the best that they can be, to inspire them to, to, to be the next you know, musician, big musician or the next um, writer, anything like that really, just all those sorts of things.